My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. With the Emperor dead, the Night Mother has asked to speak with me. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. Speak with a nervous patron at Candle Hearth Hall in Windhelm. Accept his gold, then kill the target. So begins a contract bound in blood. Very well, mother. So, I have my work cut out for me. I thought killing the Emperor would be the end of my travels here in Skyrim. With my family revenge completed, my father a Stormcloak officer slain by the Imperials, and now I have slain their Emperor. It seems only fair. But... I feel that there's more work to be done here. I can bring the Dark Brotherhood back from near extinction. Come on, Captain. You're with me. What? Cicero. What in the name of Sithis? Oh yes, it is Cicero. <laughs> you are a fool to spare me. What did you think I would be grateful? Cicero. Actually, I did. Not you. Now you will die. Cicero. I can tell that you're joking. Gotcha. <laughs> no, you oh, didn't. Mister, you should see the look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cicero has returned. Not to kill the kind listener, but to serve until one of us dies horribly in service to our mother. Best friends forever. Yes, BFF as they say. I'm at home in the sanctuary. I'm sure Mother needs tending. I'm sure. It's quite good to see you, though. Welcome home, my brother. <laughs> Let's kill someone. Oh, in due time, Cicero. Please, tend to Mother, and I'll see you soon. All right, where's the captain? Oh well. Perhaps I'll see him another time. Let me just look at my notes and see what I'm up to here. Yes. It's time to travel to Riften to see about restoring this sanctuary.
Well, Captain, I'm glad to see you made it. There, let's concentrate and not see so well in the daytime. Not so bright. Hello. Take a look around. Have you ever laid eyes on such well? No. It looks like the Thieves Guild is starting to prosper. It's good to see. Probably need to get you uh, some armor or something. Can't have you running around with just clothes. Yes. yes. You could be easily destroyed that way. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with you yet, though. So, what do you think, my dear? Could a beautiful woman like you ever see yourself with an old codger like me? Absolutely. Oh, really? Well, then. How can we make that happen? <laughs> when you're in your grave, and I'm standing over it. Now get out of my way! <laughs> That's the Vex I know. Can I help you? Delvin. Always a pleasure, boss. What can I do for you? Can you repair and refit the Dawnstar? Sanctuary. The Dawn Star Sanctuary? Is that where you lot are holding up? Uh, tell you what, it will cost you a lot. But I can help you out. What exactly are we talking about here? Well, I want the work since we've been paid quite handsomely by Amand Motier. Let's start. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's that blood again, coagulating in my throat. All right, we'll start with new banners. Banners, huh? Try to pretty the place up. All right, you got it. Tell me what you need, and I'll get my people on it. A poisoner's nook. Yeah, that will come in handy. An alchemy station. Maybe a little garden with some choice plants. All right? Consider it done. Tell me what you need, and I'll get my people on it. A secret entrance. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I'm thinking a sewer grate on the outskirts of Dawnstar leads to a tunnel, then inside. You'll be in or out, quick as a coding. Of course you do. A master bedroom. <laughs> Chamber fit for a king and all that. Right, no problem. Give you a big bed, decorate the room real nice. Maybe even throw in a few extra baubles. Tell me what you need, and I'll get my people on it. Well... I'm reluctant to have this installed, because I'm sure the members that we have in the Dark Brotherhood will probably get carried away. But go ahead, let's put in a torture chamber. Aha. Uh -huh. Now that's the Dark Brotherhood I know and love. This for business or pleasure? Both. No, it wasn't matter. Right. I'll see that it gets done. All right, I think that's it. Huh, I finished that special solitude job. The only way this guild's gonna continue to grow is by taking extra work. Well, that's going to be on the new guild leader, whoever you choose. I have other 
things that need tending to. Yes. Yes, I remember now how we've grown and we've had vendors settle in. Alright. Captain, maybe I should purchase some armor. Let's see. Oh, I think the armorer. Oh, this man here. What's so good about it? Vanrith. Looking to fix your armor. I'm looking to buy new armor. The finest weapons and armor. Suppose this is better than nothing. And what sort of weapons might you have? choice here. I think we'll get him this Daedric hatchet. All right, then. And let's see, I think there is a smith over here. Would you happen to sell that? Looking, the, looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Ah, you do. Good day. What do we have as far as weapons? I'm gonna need ebony. They don't call it the finest weapons and armor. Which you don't have. All right. Let me just I... make sure. Yes, an ebony ingot. All right, Captain. Can I help you? Of course. Let me know if there's anything else you need. All right, that should help in the meantime. Not sure if there's an enchanting station here. Alchemy. Ah, oh, let me give you your hatchet as well. What can I do for you, friend? Of course. I'll take that sword. All 
right then. All right, that should make you a lot more formidable. But not quite as formidable as I'd like you to be. All right, so we've talked to... Delvin. I'm afraid that's it, my friend. I've done all I can. I hope the place is at least livable now. And uh, good luck with your murders. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Captain, with me. Excuse me. Hello, friend. Hello. I've been looking for you. Have That's you? something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right, Captain. Let's see what we've got. Did I miss it? Yes, here. A note from a stranger. Carnabus Rollins, it is of utmost importance that you come see me at once. I have words to share with you. Make haste. Time is of the essence. I am a busy man and do not have time to toil, waiting, while you run around taking arrows in your joints. Yes, that can be quite painful even undead. You can find me at the Inn of Lost Souls, just off the road near Falkreath. I am expecting you. All right, whoever this stranger is. Inn of Lost Souls. I think I've been here once before. What? Who else? Is there more? I think that's it. Captain, can you stop that? Captain. Captain Avidius. All right, whatever. Hmm. He 
seems paralyzed. All right, let me go on inside. Oh, well, he stopped. All right, Captain, I'll be inside if you're up to it. I suppose some people can be overwhelmed by the transformation into a vampire. Wielding all that power could be paralytic for some. And good evening. Hmm. Have you heard any rumors lately? What? I can hear your thoughts about Thalion. What's going on here? What can you tell me about yourself? Name's Rigmar. They are better. I've been in the inn business since the day I was born. I come from a long line of innkeepers from all over Tamriel. And what's with the name? What? The inn? It's a family tradition. Besides, I like the sign. Huh? Wait, what's going on? Yeah! Pinatus Oculatus. Of course. This is what I trained for. Not quite good enough, are you? Oh, really? certainly went down easy. Right. End it. Now, oh, let's play some more. Innkeeper, get away. Get away before you're killed. <laughs> there. Well, this is turning out to be interesting. Well, there's no sense in hiding what I am, and I'm thirsty. There's supposed to be someone here. All right, so they say it's urgent in which to meet with me in of lost souls outside Falkreath. I must speak with the owner, and that's what I've been trying to do. What can you tell me about yourself? Name's Rigmard. <laughs> been in the inn business since the day I was born. I come from a long line of innkeepers from all over Tamriel. What's with the name? What? The inn? It's a family tradition. Besides, I like the sign. Why haven't I seen this place here before? Oh, it does that. Some sort of ill omen, I suppose. If you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to. No skin off my back, friend. Hmm, nothing has happened.
Not letting good blood go to waste. All right. Suppose I need to search the rooms then. What? Someone's been in here sleeping the whole time? There, that's better. Sir? Could you open your eyes, sir? Sir, you're still sleeping. Why, yes. My goodness. You are a vampire. <laughs> well, I know you're not going to try to kill me. It would be foolish. Not if you keep your mouth shut and pretend like we never met. Besides, I'm ancient. I've learned to control my urges. Really? Have I seen you somewhere before? Maybe Castle Volkahar? No, I don't believe you have. Maybe in a past life, if you believe in that sort of thing. Just how old are you? What's with all of the questions? Old enough, if you must know. Do you know of the Oblivion Crisis? Yes. I was there. Really? I was part of an ancient group of... Wait, I've already said too much. Yes, you have. But continue. I won't be telling you anything else. You'd best be going before things get messy. For both you and me. Especially you. I don't care how ancient you are. What exactly are you doing in Skyrim? None of your damn business. <laughs> now, probably long before I lose my composure. I'm getting thirsty. Well, there's some corpses out in the other room if you'd like to feed. So this is it? I've come here for what? Do you have anything else to say? Have you heard any rumors? <laughs> Valian again. All right. sure why I had that key. Hmm, someone's here. You. Is it Alien? Alien Mead? Like the Emperor? Hmm. You here to kill me, boy? Boy. <laughs> you had better watch your next words very carefully. Figures. First you kill my cousins. Now, you're just making sure no one else can ever inherit the throne of the Emperor. Alien Mead. At your service. I can't believe this. First, that stubborn Nord Stormcloak starts a civil war, which has drained much more of our treasury than anyone's willing to admit. And then one of your legendary Dark Brotherhood members kills my cousin, the Emperor. And now... Now the Empire has been thrown into chaos. There's a good chance it won't survive long. And you want to know what the really funny part is? Yes, please. You and your gang of morons won't last. Morons. The Dark Brotherhood is a relic of the past. Really? We've entered a more civilized age. Have we? I heard that there was one sanctuary left in all of Tamriel, and we burned that one to the ground. Sought out by one of your own sisters. <laughs> now yes. that's fun. Gloat now. How many are there left? Three or four? That's a very formidable force you have there. And you killed my cousin for what? A few septums? Well, I hope it was worth it. It was. Because you're going to burn. 
am I? Just like the Empire's going to burn. Really? I hope it was worth it. I understand having to kill Titus. But did you have to kill poor Victoria? She was so young and... <laughs> <laughs> yes, keep weeping. All right. Her death was necessary, and apparently yours as well for mocking the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> I really don't know who these people think they are. All right, what have we got here? First, I do want to drink his blood since I've had the Emperor's. Might as well add to my collection. That vampire upstairs is missing out on all of these tasty treats. Is there anything else? Ah, he has the book Brothers of Darkness as well. Brandy. Cheese. Alright, there's nothing else here. His sweet mother, he's certainly been reading up on the Dark Brotherhood. A Night Mother's Truth? Hmm, if I didn't know better, I'd say he wanted to join. <laughs> so this is it. Hmm, advances in lockpicking? Hmm, didn't learn anything there. All right, so I should lie low for a while. Okay, we can do that. I suppose the Penitus Oculatus was going to hunt me down. All right, Shadow Mia. I think we're going back to the Dawn Star Sanctuary. So apparently the up oh, I thought you were lost somewhere. All right, Captain. Let's go on inside. We're going to need to lay low for a while. Madness is very in merriment's might when the jester comes calling with his knife in the night. Well, I'm glad to see you made yourself at home, Cicero. <clears throat> Cicero is at your service, oh great and powerful listener. <laughs> well, yes, oh, Cicero lives to serve. Thank you. Well, for now, all I need you to do is tend to the Night Mother. Ah, oh, there you are, Captain. You have me spinning around in a circle. I'm here. To admire the improvements. Babette, I hope you enjoy your new alchemy station. I can hear the torture chamber already being put to use. Okay. So be it. Nazir. Why am I not surprised to learn Cicero is alive? <laughs> Still can't stomach the little clown. But if you welcomed him here, I won't question it. Thank you. Happy hunting. 
You know, I never trusted Astrid. From the moment I came and joined the Dark Brotherhood, it was my intention to take charge. All right, look at this. Very nice work. Very nice indeed. And we can use this to get outside. Huh, who have we here? An initiate. Welcome. All right, let's see what else we have here. It's going to take a while for me to get used to this place. Well, I'm just calling in a circle. Babette, is there anything? So wait, Cicero's alive? Yes. And we're all friends again? Yes, we are. I swear, I can hardly keep up. I know, it's difficult. But you should have never trusted Astrid. Stay safe. You too. All right, Captain. I think we have to lay low here for a while. And then it is time to start building up the dark. Brotherhood.